Yes guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm up here in Newcastle, the home of the B58, hey, and the S55. And we're gonna be lifting the car up today and checking and seeing how bad our cheap M4 really is. And to do that, Cousin Mark, we have you. How are you doing anyway? Not bad, Tim. Good, How's good, good. Yeah, mate, yeah, obviously we've just seen Mark. I've literally just arrived and telling a lot. I've been here for about six hours already, but whenever we start a video, it's like, oh, hey, mate, how's it going? You've been, you good, good? Okay, so, Mark, a bit of background that they might not know is me and Mark obviously decided the B58 is probably done and dusted. We've always got Roosh's bad boy over there for more secret sauce, but we thought we'd dabble in the S55 world, so we've managed to find the cheapest M4, M4 in the UK. And that isn't a cut this. It isn't a cut, exactly. <laughs> so yes, yeah, somebody else, I know you're probably watching this. Someone in the comments, and we're not, we don't care really, but I think he was under the impression that I said, cheapest M4 in the UK, flat. I've got to go back and just correct myself because it might help. This, in fact, isn't a Cat S or isn't a Cat N. And when it was priced on Auto Trader for the price that somebody might have seen it, the guy who commented on the video, um, it, we've <laughs> managed to reduce the price. And it is, again, under 20 grand. The miles on it is 90,000 miles, those of you that are wondering. So we're going to lift the car up today and see whether it's got 90,000 miles worth of damage underneath. <laughs> so Mark, M4 S55, <clears throat> what do you think we're looking for here? Yeah, common things are diff leaks and yep. the diff bush. Okay. Um, oil, sump, oil sump gasket leak. Okay, and crank hub wise, are we looking at, is it something you can I mean, see? No, or there's is nothing it? you can see. It, it either it works or it's broken, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but is it a rumour? Because there is a guy called Misha in Germany who does a lot of videos on the Nürburgring and he said that it's a rumour because he doesn't really believe in it, it's not needed, they don't really spin. No, it's, we're like Dave Welsh, he does quite a few of the repairs on them. Yeah, we love yeah. Dave. If you're watching this, Dave, you're probably not because you obviously don't care about me. But if you are, mate, we love you. And obviously we know, I think Dave might dabble some, some of the sauce, a little collab yeah, as well, yeah. you said. That we'll should be fun. Dave, we'll yeah. keep that under wraps for now. But yeah, what we'll do, we're going to lift the car up and Mark's going to go under there. He's got, he's got a lab jacket as well and glasses and goggles and he's going to look all professional. And we're going to have a look underneath our cheap M4. Okay, so we have the car up. We have Mr. Williams himself with a little torch over here. So, Mark, do you just want to talk us through what we've found so far? The first thing we've noticed is the secondary cuts have been cut out. Jeez, because I did say that. I said that obviously it's uh, got it's the um, back box here, which is an M Performance back box, titanium. But straight away, these are me it's meant to be a uh, secondary cut yeah, here, yeah. I believe. Cheese and bread. So, and that looks like it's it's also... Some sort of homemade. Yeah, it's like it's been made in yeah. someone's garden as well. It doesn't really look very... <coughs> I don't know what the word is, but yeah. What else? Then cut some of the bolts are missing from the... Cheese and bread. <coughs> Wait, so <coughs> how, many, how many exactly? There's four missing, one each corner. Cheese sauce. We'll take it off anyway because it looks like there's a bit of a... Oh, a leak on the Lord side. have mercy. See where that's coming from. Lord have mercy. Anything else? To report? No, at this minute. Is it, is it? Can you see if the cats are in or are you better off taking that? Yeah, the cats are there. Okay, Stand cool. So it's not in. a straight pipe system, but essentially it is because obviously we're missing lights. Um, not lights, we're missing... Uh... God, I did say that it was a bit loud, didn't I? And that fella <laughs> even came in today. Yeah, he and he was like, was oh yeah, that car's his. proper loud, man. And, and mine's like got a like straight system. I was like, oh, my mind's stock, bruv. Obviously it's not. <laughs> Okay, so Mr. Williams has given this car a nice little quick check over and we found, unluckily, quite a lot. Starting with the front. The main thing that we've noticed straight away is the oil leak. Yep. <coughs> which is seems to be coming from the sump gasket. Okay, is that an easy fix or? It's not a hard fix, just maybe a few, about three hours to fix. Three to hours do. job. Yeah. So that's the sump's off, change the gasket yeah, yeah. or drop, is it? Drop the subframe slightly. Oh, subframe's got to <coughs> Then get the sump off, clean yep. the oil out, change the gasket, put it okay. back on. Yeah, okay. But if you were going to do the crank hub, that would come off anyway. So yeah. That's yeah, I think the about. crank hub, I don't know, we've got to try and figure out who, if anyone knows any information on this car and is not going to take the miss and say it's been in a car accident, let me know whether the crank hub has been done, if that's one. And obviously we know we can go straight for big power. If not, I'm going to start tracking this car because <coughs> at the end of the day, it's an M car and it needs to be on track. Uh, anything else up top? Turbos are quite, well, the front turbo is quite oily. Yeah. <coughs> but it's, the car's not smoking when it's running or driving. No. Nah. So I wouldn't worry about that. No, it drives perfectly fine, as far as I know, anyway. Okay. Then, obviously, we've down. pointed out the secondary cut to being cut out. Yep. Then, I was expecting the diff to be leaking, but 
looks perfectly dry. Yeah, that's <coughs> something that was mentioned in one of the paperwork. I, f I probably should have brought that up, actually, that yeah. the, the diff, I think the output seal yeah, wall has already been done. One on the side and one on that side. Perfect, so the, the seals on them are quite good. Then the other common thing on these is the rear diff bush. Yep. Split, and I can see it starting to split a little bit there. Okay, yeah. But that is quite common on these. All right, so that's just an easy, is the, is yeah, the yeah. subframe got to come out for that? Yeah, no, we can just drop it a bit. Is it missing one from here, or is that yeah, never no, in? Standard, they're, like, they're just one, but oh, you okay. can get like a power flex and a millway kit, which oh, okay. both, uh, gives it more rigidity. Both, uh, the mountain point, yeah. Cool, in terms of the <coughs> rust, is that anything I should be worried about, the amount of it rust? It just seems to be surface rust, to be honest. I mean, okay. if, if you wanted it better, you could take it off and get a powder coated. And yeah. Probably could do, but again, that's just stuff that doesn't need to be done necessarily. I think the biggest, the most important job you've oh got at the God. minute is... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Guys, can you see this? We're not sure if it's snapped or if it's the new BMW height <laughs> adjustable spring kit. I think so. Let's just see it from this <laughs> angle. Guys, our spring has snapped in half. Right there, you can see it's snapped. It's gone. We have no right rear spring and to be honest i've driven this so you've just drove what 300 mile yeah and it's been absolutely fine so you're saying to me that that's been done a long time yeah, ago that's, like it's it's not, that's not a fresh gray yeah but yeah fair play to the dampers because uh, they're obviously supporting me very well so that's something i should have noticed or not maybe it's what i felt it wiring luckily we have got these on the shelf we do do the motec and we also do is it an eye back, eye back as, well? as well so yeah. we're or just going to swap yeah, we'll, yeah or the bc we're going to swap that out today so that's not really an issue um anything else to report on the rear nothing that we've seen i mean the discs aren't perfect but they're not not they're nothing urgent. to worry about in that cool 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 but everything else looks looks all right Glad to hear. So the biggest thing is definitely going to be that. The spring, yeah. The that's spring, a, that's yeah. the most important thing, yeah. Cool. So that's a red flag. So <coughs> if you were doing a service on the car, you wouldn't let the customer drive away. You'd have to say, yep, yeah, you yeah. need to get that's a replacement. Over, yeah. 100%. Also, while we're here, we are going to be using this. So we're going to be whacking some millers and changing out the oil. And Mark has also... <sighs> <laughs> V58. <laughs> so, as I was saying, <coughs> we're going to be doing an oil service simply because it's a new car, not new, but a new car to us anyway. So, we're going to be changing out the oil. And Mark was saying something about we can send this off to Millers to see how bad yeah, we'll some stuff is. Send a sample of the oil to Millers and they'll, they'll do tests on it and tell us if like the rod bearings are wearing or okay, if so there's any other wearing. What engine. would they be looking for in the, uh, <coughs> in the oil? Fragments of like cert a percentage of certain metals in, okay. the, in the oil. And if it comes back and there's not a single. Fragment, what does that mean? We can go full yeah, send or? Yeah, are in good condition still, okay. yeah. And our bearings totally different <coughs> than the crank hub or are they the same sort of thing? It's different, it's different part of the engine, but sure. it's, if you're going to do them and you're doing the crank hub, yeah. you might as well do the bearings at the same oh, okay, time. Okay, because you have to take the same yeah, sort of yeah. bits off. Yeah. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. So, we have made a nice conclusion. The oil service has been completed on the M4. We just decided to put fresh oil in obviously because we needed to take the old one out to send to Millers for them to analyse to make sure that the rod bearings are in good condition. We've luckily managed to swack a spring in there. We probably will lower the car at some point but for now we've just whacked a spring in there because we have got an OEM. We've done obviously it in pairs so the rear end we always want to do spring in, springs in pairs. So we've got two new rear springs in the back. Big shout out to BMW for same day service. We were going to go eye back but I thought you know what we might be changing it up and going for dampers so we decided to just get BMW same day uh, genuine springs on the rear we could have gone H&R or IBAC or Motec it's entirely up to us but we decided to go for BMW the next action on this car is either going to be something engine related you're right you're right Mark. <laughs> so something the next stage is on this car I believe we want to get this on track as soon as possible to kind of experience the chassis and take it from there we might have to do something on the engine first before we go doing that, but there is quite a lot of rust on the rear. So we're gonna have a discussion about it and decide what to do next on our cheap M4. So yes, guys, that is the... F <laughs> this guy, this guy, he loves being everywhere. But yes, guys, that is the video. If you have enjoyed the video, please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we will see you in the next one. God bless.